Hi YouTube, it's Jason from Envious Customs here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the ALDO cable, uh, how to install the drivers and also the software uh, that is provided with it. So first off you want to make sure that you've taken the disc out and also the printed out piece of paper that came with the cable. Pop the disc into your CD drive and we'll let that start loading up. And then start reading uh, the information on the a4 sheet of paper just gives you a little bit of info about what to do and not to do so cable usage and precautions you know, don't leave it in extreme heat and don't unplug it by pulling on the cables you can you know, uh, break and ruin the internal uh, wiring as well as it will then navigate you to onto the CD and to the uh, driver folder uh, to start installing the drivers for the cable if you have the cable uh, plugged in already just go ahead and unplug it uh, it may have already installed and applied the drivers if you're on Windows 7 or 8. Uh, both those uh, windows actually automatically uh, install the driver for you. Let's just go ahead and go into driver though. And first off, we're going to want to open the PDF. So this is just going to run through what exactly we're going to do using some pictures as well. So it's going to tell us to install uh, that driver. And then we'll see when we plug it in, we'll see a few installation things going on. Depending how quick your computer is, you may not even see the uh, Windows installation box. But then we can we want to identify what COM port our device is using. It will actually say on this installation window if you if you get to see it. But if you can't, we need to open up Device Manager. So just following what this says, and then we want to scroll down to we see ports, COM and LPT, and that's where we're going to be USB C report. So on this example, it was COM nine. Mine might be COM two, three, or four or anything in between. So let's just go ahead and start installing. Yes, extract, next. I've already got these installed so it may uh, repeat it again for me. Nope, okay. So that's that done. There's the drivers installed. So now I'm just going to go ahead and plug in my cable. Alright, just plugged it in. I didn't see the box, so it would have installed immediately. And I should see it under ports. There we go. There it is. USB C report, COM2. So that's what my my um ALDO cable was on. It's on COM2, which we need to use to enter into the software. Alright. You can get a more detailed uh tutorial on each software on setting them up in my other videos. But let's just go ahead and actually install the software now. So let's go back. Now it's going to software and let's install, we'll do FE Live first, um, but I do recommend uh, using Tuner Pro as it has more engine data, more fault code data and all sorts. So as you can see we've got a few files here, so this is our installation file, uh, this is our guide, so the first thing you want to do is open up the starter guide, it'll give you a little information how to get set up and all that, and also some registration details. So clicking on this one, you can see some details. It says to get the free license. It is a free license, a evaluation license from their website. Scroll across. Uh, copy and paste that into the browser and you'll get to the page. Uh, this image also shows you where to put all the details. This is the details that they provide you. It's valid till 2020 and when it gets to that date, they'll, um, they'll provide another evaluation license. We might go to 2040. Uh, and also I've just provided those details from the website just here uh, you just got to enter them in exactly as you've seen in the picture I will be doing that uh, when we install this this is a clean install for me I removed it previously so we'll be going through that momentarily typical Many people get a little bit confused when it comes up with a license, expecting it to be free. It is free. You just got to chuck in the evaluation license that's seen here. Once that's in, you can use it as much as you want. Although I much prefer Tuner Pro, and I recommend it to everyone to use Tuner Pro because you can see much more uh, engine data. You know, all you got to do is select the correct vehicle definition file. So it's just selecting the file that suits your car. And once you've done that, uh, you just Click start and you uh, and you can start seeing live engine data. Whereas every live is a little bit more limited. It doesn't show all the fault codes, doesn't show all the engine data. That's why I recommend Tuner Pro. So that's that installed and ready. And you can also do the same for Tuner Pro. So 
So this is the same things. Just get uh, get started, guys. Tuna Pro uh, guide to start blogging. So it just goes through the steps you need. You can also see my video uh, for how to get it all set up and running. I'm just going to go ahead and install it. Now there's no license or anything needed to uh, to be entered for Tuna Pro. It's all completely 100% free. It does come up with a little window. You have to wait 10 seconds just because that's what the developer's done. You know you can get rid of that little window if you if you donate, but you don't have to. There's no need to. You just got to wait 10 seconds and press continue, and then you've got a fully operational Tuna Pro. That's just that's just how it is. So. I'll be back momentarily. I'm just going to uh, start both applications. All right, so I'm back. So uh, I'm just just getting it so I can quickly open up FE Live and Tuna Pro just from this little menu rather than me having to search around because I haven't got anything on my desktop. So let's just go ahead and open up uh, FE Live first. There we go. So yours should come up with a little evaluation on uh, screen. So if I just go to file registration, you should have this screen pop up immediately and you have to enter these details. So enter exactly as you can see here. So enter the serial number, have nothing in the license to, nothing in the email, nothing in the company, and have the expiry date exactly as this and enter this license key and press OK and evaluation license successfully installed. See? Once you've done that, it will say that you'll have roughly 1,729 days left and you can start uh, doing your logging. Watch my other video to see how to install the, uh, choose the, uh, the correct COM port. Mine already did because I've done the installation. Yours might say can't, can't initialize because you need to have the correct COM port. Enough of that. You can check out the other FE Live uh, tutorial and you can get started on that. So let's just go ahead and close this now. And now I want to open up Tuna Pro. So Tuna Pro is 100% free. Just say OK to that because I had an, a different ADX open. So you can see here, I have to wait only 10 seconds after it does that. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to register. You just wait 10 seconds. There you go. Press continue. And you're done. That's it. You have you have a full, uh, full access to Tuna Pro. So you might not have these gauges up here. That's just because I have a, a different file loaded for a VR. Uh, V6 or V8 Commodore currently loaded. It's all the stuff you can see, all the gauges and uh, bits and pieces. And you can learn how to load all this stuff and get this all prepared in my other videos as before. But that's it, guys. That's all you have to do. It's simple as that. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please uh, post them below or feel free to email me uh, from my website or using my email address. Alright, I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.